Great. Okay. Our project is the Penley and Essendon Grammar Junior Boys Music School. The brief for the Pegs Essendon Campus Music House was short and simple. A large classroom, amenities for teachers and students, plus 12 practice studios in a variety of sizes. This project was small but important. It was to be engaging and beautiful. To encourage boys to participate in music and bring new life to the campus existing music centre. A central gesture underpinning the new building design was the line of a frozen sound wave. This line was superimposed across the facade. This was the generator of the northern aspect of the new addition. The Junior Boys Campus in Essendon, opposite Windy Hill, takes up a large proportion of this inner suburban block. Existing heritage houses have been colonised by the school and they sit alongside a collection of school buildings from ver various er eras. From the street, is, it is not always apparent where the school starts and the residents end. The project involved upgrading and adding to the existing Victorian house, which was currently used for music tuition, but was very run down. This building sits alongside one of our earliest projects for PEGS, completed in 2009, the Junior Boys 5 and 6 building. This building plays with the tension between the school and its suburban context, perception and childhood imagination. Internally, the sharp silhouette of the 2009 building is contrasted by its own lyrical line. Together, the three buildings become more than the sum of their parts, activating a mini precinct through the ensemble of buildings and the creation of a fourth element, the courtyard. The new addition of the music school acts as a mediator between the formality of the 2009 building and the Victorian house. The new courtyard is a small play space which allows the maturing oak tree to breathe. The new building was to be a companion to the Victorian house. While it picked up on such things as the patterned brickwork, formally, formally it is in contrast with the existing building. The new and the old are connected through this piano keyed veranda space. The new design's relationship to the original Victorian music house attempts to promote a captivating dialogue between eras, seeking to elegantly prolong the life of an historically significant building. The addition re-establishes re identity and connections between the building and its junior boys' building's neighbours, and the school continues its light and respectful touch to its suburban neighbourhood. The floor plan illustrates the clear relationship between new and old. Most of the building is made up of tutorial rooms of various sizes. The new building also has importantly, as mentioned earlier, a large classroom space. This space is intended for both tuition and is a key performance space for students to share with their parents and others. The theme of dividing singular space inherited from the adaption of the Victorian house is continued in the new edition. Refurbishing the existing heritage learning spaces was a quintessential aspect of this project. This was done in a way to celebrate the heritage, the building's space and ornamentation. The house was handled tenderly and respectfully to highlight its qualities and make it fit for modern day learning. The new addition has all the DNA of your archetypal modernist school building and can be seen as a part of the family of later institutional typologies throughout the campus. Conceptually, the lyrical line is imposed on the modernist utilitarian institution. The brick and skillion typology and ornamentation is added all in the hope that something beautiful will emerge. The building applies a playful lyricism to the institutional typology. The northern expression frames both the new outdoor and performance space. This new project continues the thematic of the 2009 building as a kind of musing on context, architectural language, beauty and imagination. We work closely with the acoustic engineer and the specification and linings throughout. We set our structural engineer, Richard Drew, a challenge. Like all architects, we were convinced none of what they proposed was required. They, in contrast, complained about us wanting to lay bricks on a slippery dip. In the end, it was a bit of a shame to cover their work up, but then again, that's their role, to simply facilitate the magic. The building uses standard school components in an innovative formal composition, with the design intention focused on the pursuit of joy and beauty, allowing the design to transcend the utility of the technology and the material used. 
beauty and indeed music had their own utility. The Music Centre maintains a balance between preservation and reuse of the existing heritage elements. Passive natural ventilation is encouraged throughout the heritage building and in the new addition. The open veranda circulation space is an important element we have used in all the PEGS projects. The design capitalises on the northern orientation by maximising opportunities for the ingress of light and uses sun shading strategies that are integrated in the building's concept. The design incorporates multiple rain gardens and heating in the studios is controlled separately. The undulation and oscillation of the Annex's facade engages with the lyricism of music as an overarching theme. The existing and contemporary meets in the middle with carefully considered slippages and despite their formal differences, thresholds and transitions merge and the two become one. The new learning spaces are a stimulating learning environment and foster creativity. The heritage is celebrated in every detail, the contrast of volumes, the meeting of a decorative cornice, the preservation of art deco doors that add to the narrative and character of the built form of old meeting new. And we have a little video. 